Right, listen. So, <clears throat> it's your boy, No Muck on Your West, and I'm going to tell you today about how I essentially saved the new Netflix series. But before I get into that, let me tell you how I was a part of this thing, right? So we can get some background. First, okay. I didn't land any of the major roles like you would expect. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> because all these other people, they took it already. <clears throat> However, your boy was a background actor. Actor. Uh, and I'm going to tell you all about my experience working on this small part. If you want to find me, you probably won't. But I know where I am because I know where I was in the scene. And actually, the camera does look at me at one point. Oh. Like, it does focus around my area, and you can see me very clearly. But I looked way different back then. It was, I don't know, like two years ago or something. I don't even know. It's been a long time. Okay? So, the first thing that I need to say is that I was on set for about two days. And in those two days, I spent 11 hours. No, not 11 hours. From 6 to 11, I had to be on the set, and uh, this was during COVID, so we had to get these passes every time we had, every time we left. So I was there for two days, <clears throat> and my part is I'm basically in the background of where the main characters go, and there's sort of like a party in this like fucking decrepit area and this guy he skates down spoilers he skates down and then the, the woman skates down it's crazy and this was all filmed in cape town well my part was at least uh anyways right so the food that we got as extras it's all right but then you look over at the gilded fucking marble uh, penthouses that the main actors have with their baristas and whatever have you and you're a bit, you're a bit jealous, okay? I had to stand in a line to take a piss, okay? That's not, that's not something I want to do from 6 to 11 for two days straight. You feel me? Um, but yeah, they kind of just said to us uh, just pretend you're at a party. And younger me took his role very seriously, as you'll see over here. Huh? Look at that. This, look at that. That's me. Um, I took my role very seriously. And I wish that I could record the actual Netflix video or take a screenshot and stuff. But I can't because it won't let me. Like, it, it, it physically won't let me. So, I have to use my phone to be able to actually show you where I am and that sort of thing. Another thing I would like to point out, I was in a few scenes, and at one point they took me aside, and a few other people, and there's a car scene where someone's chasing, I think her name's Billy, and the, the other girl. And as they're walking past, there's these, this car, I've got to walk past it, and I walk past the camera several times, because they had the camera like right here, and you're meant to walk past it in like a, a line. Never use that clip of me. They even took off our feet as we're walking past the car. Never use that. So. Bad movie, bad series, maybe. I remember how absolutely frigid it was, because they wouldn't let you just do this during the daytime. No, it has to be night. And it was immobilizingly cold, because not only was it nighttime and very cold in the general weather, you had to wear party clothes. So I basically wore like something to this uh, thickness, if not even thinner. For my top and my pants. Luckily, I was wearing long pants, so that didn't even help me at all. So, between takes, they would take 
me and whoever else and they go put us somewhere and give us blankets that did not help and eventually uh i came to the brilliant idea that probably saved the rest of everyone's lives there the background actors while the main actors got like ventilation shafts all around them full of heating i i suggest that listen <clears throat> probably going to get cancer probably going to like shorten our lifespan here but you see that big fucking studio light let's go sit underneath it and like pretend to be uh little orphans on the street and, just... and that's what we did there was a light on the ground and we went in front of it and that was our heat source while blasting us with cancer rays so that happened okay that was probably the worst experience of my life so that's just a little bit of context a little bit of background and while we were on set me and a few people who actually know what resident evil was we were looking around and we were looking at for instance the props and like the jackets they put some people with uh and we looked at it and we we're like okay this is resident evil <laughs> anyways uh what else was there fucking They chose your outfits for you, and to my knowledge, while I was there, I thought, well, am I just going to get paid for this? And then someone next to me was like, oh, no, uh, you know, <clears throat> you can actually, they actually let you keep the outfits when you're done <clears throat> shooting. I looked at my outfit, I was like, well, that's a fucking waste, why can't I be part of them with their cool outfit? Anyways, you couldn't. So that person lied to me, and if I ever find you on the streets, one time, boom, gone. I'll see who keeps what outfit then. So you're probably wondering to yourself, Kanye, that was a pretty crappy series. Even Moist Critical thinks it's crappy. How did you save it? Well, God damn it. <clears throat> let me, uh... Let me tell you, okay? <laughs> Push it back. Basically, I am in enough scenes where it makes the series great, which is one, two, one or two, depending on how you look at it. And don't, don't click off yet. I am Normal Kanye West with 50, around 50 subscribers. People now know I'm in the movie. Netflix, I just got you another three people to watch your series. Because that's probably my average person who cares and watches my videos. Mmm. So hypothetically, I should get a royalty for this publicity. But yeah, there was an American company, from what I heard, that brought us all there. And Netflix, you're welcome. Just by me being there, I saved your series, so you're welcome. And even though everything else except for the two scenes I'm in is pretty crappy, you're welcome. Ooh, <clears throat> before I forget, oh man, I'm going to show you guys some videos. And it's very cringe, I will admit, because I don't know what I was doing. This is the first time I've ever done this. <clears throat> I mean, at one point... Oh my god. At one point... Okay, so there's two things. This guy, he brought me over... To this barrel, and he put a girl on top. So we were facing each other, and I'm kind of like... Like this, and he's like... Okay, you two are going to be here, and you can just pretend to either know each other, try and flirt with or whatever, you know. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that'll be cool. <laughs> so, okay, cool. And then he went around to do his thing. And then, oh my god. <clears throat> the small talk I made with this woman. So let's, you're the woman. That's about your, and then pretend my arms are like right next to your thighs. I'm just like. So have you done this before? <laughs> Pretty unnerving. <laughs> I suppose it doesn't help with my hair like this. It was a bit longer, but they styled it for me, which was odd. Anyways, it was very awkward. 
And during that scene, when I was with that woman, they had it so that we had to run away from the party for the scene. And me being a fresh new background actor, I took my role very seriously. I was, I was, it, when it, okay, everyone run. I was gone. Everyone else was like jogging. And I was, <laughs> you, you wouldn't see me. I was like the flash, bro. It was, in, it was madness. Okay. One point I was here, the next I was there with a dust storm coming up behind me. It was ludicrous. And looking back, it was so fucking cringe because I'd be here. And then way off in the distance would be everyone else jogging. So I stop and I look back and everyone's just staring at me like, what the fuck are you doing? And I gotta walk back after being utterly embarrassed like that. It's, oh, man, fucking I was cringe. But it's fine. And then uh, there was this other guy there that I, I danced around with. Because we had to pretend like it was a party. And they put just me and this one other guy in like the middle of this area with people around us while we're just looking with our prop fake uh, red cups. And <laughs> there were snacks and stuff on the tables around. And at first they said, you guys can have some. So I went to go. <laughs> I started opening things up. I ate a bit. And then eventually they're like, Who's eating the food? And I was like, oh, okay. So we can't do that. And then, I, and then I, I, I took like a handful of bubbles and I stuck them in my pocket and I was like, yeah. That'll make up for this experience. Overall, it was pretty good. I got paid. And there was this one helper. I don't know what, to, what, what role he fulfills in this movie production. He was great. Uh, he would go around basically trying to get people hyped up. He'd be like blasting music every now and then. He'd be like, I'm ready! I'm ready! You better be! And like, okay, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm ready. And then he'd go up and he'd be like, okay, you two flirt, that kiss, make out. And then he'd be like, okay, calm down, man. He's like, I'm sorry. And then he goes off. It was great. But not the actual end result. It's your boy, no more Kanye West, making Netflix great again. Thank you uh, for watching. Right, so obviously I've got to do it like this because any screen recording software will not allow me to actually get where I am. So, there. That's me. Right there. Uh, that's my other guy that I had to do this with. He was, uh, he was great. Okay, now you'll see as it goes along. I'll try recognize people while I'm at it because I talked to quite a few. Him, they had a stunt double obviously go down here for both uh, him and whatever else. Look at there, there I am. Oh my good god, there I am. Huh? Fuck. Oh man, that was cringe. Okay, and then of course, there's my pal. Whoa, look how impressive that was. Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, where else am I? Okay. You know, the acting isn't so bad in this. Not even gonna cap. She. She looks so familiar. I probably don't know whatsoever, but she looks so familiar. She looks like a uh, old uh, primary school classmates. God damn it! I'm not here. There, there I am. I think I'm somewhere over there at least. So I mean, again, somewhere there. There are, is that me? Maybe. Anyways, we'll continue with this. Okay, yes. Fast forward. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. Kind of there. The camera angle isn't that good. Why? No, okay, that's near the end. 
Wait a minute. Oh my god, I've got to go through all this again. Okay, so there, I'm in this crowd. Is that... No, it's not me. <laughs> no, god damn it. I think... Okay, I'm behind these two guys with their phones. They did that by themselves. The director didn't tell them to do that, so good luck to them. I hope their background acting really takes them fucking far. And then I should be there. I think that's me. Or there. Fuck, where am I? You'll see me over here. This, the, okay, after this scene, it's like my biggest, my biggest parts in the movie. Okay, let me, let me get this right. There. Oh my good god. What an absolute spaz. Look what I do. It's cringe. Uh, <laughs> it's so bad. Uh.